please like and subscribe to Johnny's Drive-In Entertainment News. I know who you are. I am the future Flash. All right, you guys. Hey, I'm Tiffany Smith, and right now I just totally snuck in to the Flash offices because I'm going to find out all the juice that I can find about the new season. I'm here with Andrew and Todd. You guys are ready to tell me everything, right? No, no. 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 I'm going to try my best. I think I can get some stuff out of it. All right, we'll tell you. <laughs> Our fans are so amazing. Um, anytime we get to show them new stuff and get them excited and show them all the stuff that we've been working on, I mean, uh, for me, it's a, it's, it's a lot of fun, and uh, it's one of my favorite parts of, of doing this. So tell me a little bit about going into the last season and wrapping things up, because everyone was trying to figure out who exactly Savitar was, and then once you finally get the big reveal, it was really fun kind of seeing Grant play both sides of that character. What was it like for you guys seeing it all come together? Well, it's funny, because, you know, I mean, part of us wasn't sure, like, <laughs> this was actually going to work, yeah. but then we realized we had Grant Gustin, who... He truly is the the you know he he is the superpower behind the Flash. He's yeah. so unbelievably talented, and and this season you know not only was he playing Barry and Savitar, but he also played a broken future version of Barry. He sang. I mean, he really yeah. um, you know for as much credit as he is given for being amazingly uh, talented, he's he's not given enough credit. But but I think we we knew. I mean, we were so excited to get to that. You know, I think I probably our only regret is that we didn't reveal it sooner and, and have more, yeah. um, you know, but then there were also, um, you know, when your star is both the hero and the villain, there are logistical challenges. <laughs> so, um, uh, but fortunately we had to pay him once. So yeah. that, that well, actually, I'm... that actually worked out. Where do we pick up with Barry? It's obviously no great surprise that, that the Flash will continue to be part of the TV show, The Flash. Yeah. So, you know, Barry does come back, but um, the circumstances of his return and, and, and what he's like when he comes back from this experience, um, you know, is part of the fun and the surprise, you know, of, um, you know, of the season premiere. But, you know, one of the things we just really wanted to do was, you know, like, like last season got really dark and, and, and on purpose, we, yeah. we, 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 we wanted to do that. And like, you know, but it was as darky, dark, dark, <laughs> Donnie Darko Dark <laughs> as we could have we possibly could made it. So, yeah. you know, this year, since we feel like we kind of did that, like we're not going to get, we're not going to outdark ourselves. Yeah. <laughs> we really wanted to sort of like pivot and sort of lean into like fun and light and brightness. So, you know, um, the, the, uh, uh, the title premiere is actually The Flash Reborn. And it's just for us, it's just sort of like a little bit of like a restart and, you know, um, you know, just diving into sort of like, you know, more comedy and more fun and more brightness and yeah. more excitement and, and sort of, uh, you know, getting away from some of the sort of heavy storm undrung that, you know, we, yeah. were, we were we were playing with last season. Ow. Cisco and Gypsy. Mm -hmm. um, I know that a lot of people are probably shipping that hardcore on the Internet. Um, what are your plans and what can you guys share for going forward in the, the new season? Gypsy will definitely <laughs> be back in uh -huh. episode uh, 402. <laughs> you know, we love them. They're just, they're, yeah. they're hilarious together. And the best casting yeah. on the show is when somebody joins the show and feels like they've been there from the beginning. Yeah. And, you know, Jessica has joined this long list of, of these amazing people who just feel like they've been part of the show all along. Yeah. And she and Carlos have amazing chemistry. And, and you know, we have... You know, episode uh, 404 um, is probably my one of my favorite ideas we've ever come up with that involves um, uh, Cisco and Gypsy. Um, I think the fans are, are, are going to die. I'm not Caitlin anymore. Can you talk to us at all about Caitlin? How are we going to meet her and reconnect with her? Where has she been? Is she going to be full Killer Frost on, like, the border of still being nice? I think the best thing we can say and uh, is that... If you're a fan of Killer Frost, you won't be disappointed. And if you're a fan of Caitlyn Snow, you won't be disappointed either. You've teased a little bit, but we had a huge villain last season in Savitar. What are they going to be up against in this new season? Well, um, we've had a speedster villain for the last three years. So we, we really wanted to do something different. Um, so uh, this year, The Flash and his team will be up against The Thinker. Um, and, you know, we're positing it as the world's fastest man versus the world's fastest mind. Um, and it's been really interesting for us as writers because, you know, so much of the previous seasons have been based, you know, we, we tend to think of The Flash as an athlete, like a runner, and so much of his previous seasons have been about training harder or I have to run faster. But he's up against a villain this season that he can't outrun. It's somebody that he has to outthink. Yeah. And it's going to take him and Cisco and Caitlin and a few other surprise people uh, to be able to uh, uh, get one step ahead of the thinker.
are there any particular episodes or moments for each of you guys that you're like, this is my favorite moment from last season? There's the scene in the finale with Time Remnant Barry and our Barry. What do you want? I want to help you. It's really an emotional scene about, you know, uh, Barry going to him and it's like, I'm not going to do what I normally do. I just want to appeal to him emotionally and bring him in yeah. and try to help him. And I wrote that scene. You wrote that scene. Thank you, buddy. <laughs> so, no money was exchanged before this interview to have him say that, by the way. I also, I, 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 uh, also the ice bridge sequence with Killer Frost last year, that was yep. one of my favorite things. And part of the reason I loved that was because um, uh, I, 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 got, I got it on my phone and I was with Greg Berlanti, our, yeah. our, our partner, and I said, you want to see the coolest thing we've ever done in Flash? And he goes, I don't know what's on there, but it's not the coolest thing we've ever done in Flash. <laughs> and he took my phone and he played it and he was like... Oh my god! And he's like, "Oh my god, it keeps going on." Oh my god! Like, and yeah, and it was, yeah. It was, it was, one, it was one of the things. <laughs> I mean, that's for sure the longest set piece that I think yeah. we've done. Yeah, that was a real monumental achievement for us. Thank you guys. Anytime. Oh, you're welcome. The Flash returns with an all-new season Tuesday, October 10th. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our channel to watch behind-the-scenes video and more from The Flash. Please like and subscribe to Johnny's Drive-In Entertainment News.